missing a few games, man. How good is it to be back out here with your guys, especially knowing how well you were playing and how well this group was playing before you went out? Yeah, um, I'm excited. I mean, this is what I love to do. So to be back out here trying to get ready to play, I mean, it's fun. The chemistry in the NBA is so important, man. I don't have to show you much. The NBA trade deadline illustrated if chemistry is not there, changes have to be made. Right. Does this group have the makings of that, of the makings of a chemistry building type of group? Yeah, definitely. I think we have, you know, a lot of guys that, you know, want to turn this around. Um, and, you know, with, with Mr. Troy Weaver, we got a big time GM, you know what I'm saying? So I put a lot of faith in him um, and I trust that, you know, whatever, whatever his plans are will be, you know, best for the team. And, you know, I'm just excited to play hard and try to, you know, do what I can to help the Pistons. You've been writing a diary for the undefeated and you wrote, I think it was November that, you know, people were laughing at you and saying you're a bust and you and you kind of laughed back. Right. NBA All-Star Weekend, you're a headliner now. Right. You get to go with Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bey, and then Saturday night part of the Skills Challenge. Do you laugh a, a little bit more loudly when you're back at home now of those people that's called you a bust after yeah. just a few weeks? Um, I mean, I never really worried about them. Uh, I know basketball and I know how good I am. Yeah. So, um, you know, as much basketball as I watch, I'm not really worried about, you know, other people's opinions. I'm just worried about my team and what my coaches think. Um, and how I feel about myself, which, you know, nobody else can sway that. So I feel good. Okay, I've been here. I grew up here. I don't know if I've ever seen so many people here this early to try to meet a Pistons player. Right. To make that impact right away, we've got the Oxford community here. I watched the reaction when you signed a jersey for them. Does Detroit already feel like home for you? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I love being here. Uh, you know, they didn't have, you know, any reason to take a chance on me, but, um, you know, just what they thought of my talent and things like that. So. You know, I'm going to try my best to make the most of that and, uh, you know, prove that everything was worth it. How giddy are you for All-Star Weekend? I know you got games ahead of it, but yeah. are you excited looking forward to it? Definitely, definitely. It'll be my first one, so I'm, I'm super excited. So I grew up going to the Palace and seeing games and fans line up, so I don't want to misspeak completely. I did see the Pistons fans line up forever. But look at this group, though, trying to get Cade and this young group's autograph. And so many of the people here tonight, Part of the Oxford High School group that was, of course, going through so much over the last few weeks. Before today's game, the Oxford High School basketball team scrimmaged on this court. Kate Cunningham and the Young Pistons group spending a ton of time with those young athletes, making their day. So Kate Cunningham, 19 years old, he's got this city and this fan base in the palm of his hand. Next weekend, a big showcase for him. As I said, he'll be part of a group headlining that Rising Stars Challenge with Sadiq Bey and Isaiah Stewart. The Pistons will be well represented, and boy ever, do they need this group back together. Cade's back tonight. That's good news here from Little Caesars Arena. Boy, it sure is, Brad. Now we need him to stay healthy so he can continue to grow so that fans Certainly will have even more need him to, to be cheer healthy. about. Yes, indeed. Brad, Thank thanks. you, Brad.